What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. After we learn how to export your uh, timeliner sequencing for or as an AVI file. So this time around, I'm going to show you how to add uh, save viewpoints animation to your timeliner sequence. Okay, right. So let's get started. So just make sure that you already have your timeliner set like you already set up the configuration, the task, or you already added some data sources into your uh, timeliner. So once you set up this thing, so the next, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to add animation. So first, we need to save viewpoints. And then from the viewpoints, so we are going to create animation. So if you still remember, I do have a video, so you just need to search the playlist of my Navis Works, wherein I have uh, shown there how to save viewpoints and make it animation. But anyway, I'm going to do that in this exercise as well. All right, so let's get started. So uh, I'm going to close first the timeliner here. And then uh, from the viewpoint tab, I'm going to open this one. And let us save our viewpoint, our first viewpoint. So let's say, for example, this is the first viewpoint that I want, this one here. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So I'm going to select your save viewpoint. So you click that one, and then automatically the save uh, viewpoints uh, window will appear. So let me just close this old 3D save viewpoint. So I'll just uh, close that one. So I'm going to call this uh, let's say this is my number one so I'm just gonna save 10 viewpoints okay and then I'm gonna orbit something like this and then I can also right click here if I want to save the viewpoint so I can select here say uh, save viewpoints so just click that one so that's number two and then uh, let me go back again to this view I can also zoom in like that Okay, and then right click, save viewpoint. So that's my tree, enter. So it's orbit, right click, save viewpoint. So that's my number four. And then let me orbit. So let's say in the top. Okay, so right click, save viewpoint. So that's my number five. So let's say I want to look at the bottom. So right click, save viewpoint number six. Okay, what else? Where else? So, like this, right click, save viewpoint, seven, enter, and go here. So, this is the viewpoint that I want. So, another way to save viewpoint is clicking this icon. So, you click that. So, this will gonna be my number eight. There you go. Orbit again. You know the idea, right? So, right click, nine, enter. And then for the last one, so let me just zoom in like this and right click, save viewpoints 10. Okay, so after you save viewpoints, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're now going to create an animation. So to create an animation, you just need to right click again on the save viewpoints window. So just right click and then you can see here now your add animation. So just click that one. And then you can now put any name that you want here. So let's say, for example, uh, this is the animation for my timeliner, whatever. Okay, so timeliner, enter. There you go. And we are going to put all of the save viewpoints under the animation. So to do that, so you click one save viewpoints, you hold the shift, you click the last viewpoints. And then after that, you are going to drag that and put it under the animation timeliner. There you go. So it's now uh, indented. Okay, so it's now under the animation. Okay, so basically, um, if you are going back to your viewpoint, so there's now your animation there. So you can now uh, play that one. So let's play and let's see how it looks like. So this is now my simple animation, right? Okay, and then you can also click this drop down arrow here if you want to open the save viewpoints dialog launcher and close it, right? Click that and then you'll be able to toggle the save viewpoints dialog box. Okay, so basically this is now the animation that we want to incorporate to our timeliner sequence because 
if you still remember um, on our last video, this, this is how it looks like when we have exported our video or our timeliner into a ABI file. It's very simple, right? So this is the one that we did last time. So we are going to incorporate an animation, not like this one. I don't want this output. Okay, so let me just close this one. Let's go back to Navisworks. Okay. All right, so it's not yet done. But anyway, I'm just going to stop this one. And let's go now to our Timeliner. So let's go to the Home tab. And let's click the Timeliner here. Click that one. And then the next thing that we're going to do is go to your Simulate tab. Go there. And then you click the Settings here. So I'm not going to change the settings that I have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this animation option here so as you can see no link and then the other option is guess what save viewpoints animation so we are going to we're going to click that one okay and then after that i'm going to select here okay there you go okay so now if we are going to save uh play now this one so i'm gonna select play here just play that one and then the animation will now start you see okay and then if the animation is good for you so you can now again export this as an abi file okay so basically that's how you add animation to your timeliner sequence okay so hopefully guys you have learned something in this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can all right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day